On News Watch at 5:30 in the thriving, kick-in capital called Bethany. Mm -hmm. Like it was in Bethany. Now, what is of this places. beautiful guitar that uh, Bruce was 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 kicking it with? This is a uh, um, Duesenberg Star Player. Oh, shiny. <laughs> I like it. Michelle Ferrari would would live for that guitar. Uh, now, Nick, I have a question for mm -hmm. you. Um, we obviously have this rather interesting picture. We do. Uh, that connects you directly to the stage where the Beatles played. You actually opened for them. Here you yes. are. Mm -hmm. And we recognize some of the boys. Paul. Where's everybody else? John. John. Ringo. Ringo. George is back here somewhere. George is in the back yeah. somewhere. Always He's like back me. somewhere. He, he likes to hide. And what guitar did you play when you were mm -hmm. when you were performing and opening for them? I played a Fender guitar, Fender Jazzmaster. Okay, but I don't see a Fender Jazzmaster. Mm -hmm. I don't see a Fender anywhere in this. There's like 200 guitars here. And no fenders, what? <clears throat> I don't carry any fenders or Gibsons. <gasps> Isn't that kind of like really odd for a guitar store? Well, that's the point. The point is everybody carries fenders and everybody okay. carries Gibsons. All right. So I wanted to be different by carrying everything else that they don't. Or to the, it's called Duesenberg. So Duesenberg, tell me about, yeah. tell me what a guitar person would need to know about a Duesenberg. I'm just going to put this picture <clears throat> down here. Why don't we take In my one, opinion, take Duesenberg is the, the greatest guitar. You can. Yeah. All right. You hold it though. Is it really heavy? Yeah, it Duesenberg is, is yeah. the greatest guitar. Well, Come on. It, it, it's retro. It's, it's beautiful. It, it's shiny. It, it play, <laughs> it play, it plays like God. I mean, this guitar is amazing. It's, it's uh, handmade in Germany. Yeah. It's, um, they make all their own pieces, such as the Tomolo bar and really? the pickups, and they assemble, assemble them in Germany. And there's just so much more love put into the guitars than than some of the guitars that are made offshore okay that you know th that are mass produced and um, no one really cares for uh, how th how the the outcome is there is and this is That's the first guitar stunning. that i bought from Duesenberg and uh, just got hooked on the guitars and and here's the collection right here why did this one get you hooked on guitars just the look of it you know the gold and the silver and the black and it's so modern but so retro it's rich. It's rich. It's just, it just, after that, I, I bought a dozen of them, and then I became a, a dealer. I said, well, what, with a dozen, why yeah. am I buying so many of these guitars? I may as well become a dealer. And then this, this happened, you know? I just, just love everything that I do. I, I'm able to pick every one by hand, and, um, and this is the result, you know? So what does a what is like if you're gonna buy a Duesenberg or you're mm -hmm. gonna add a Duesenberg to your collection? What are you, what are you looking at as an investor? Price-wise? Yeah, like a range. A reasonable twenty-eight hundred to thirty-two hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. Just curious. I think that's more than reasonable. All right. Just For curious. For this guitar, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. of what you're getting. Well, we have much more to look at and much more to hear. You have a few special guests in here. Mm -hmm, I do. We had Jim was awesome. He was. So you sell Dover guitars? Also Bruce was. And we have <laughs> a few other persons. <laughs> We're just going to stay and rock it out in yeah. Bethany. Uh, all right. Newswatch at 530 continues at the Guitar Boutique. We move on to Rickenbacker's next. I don't know why, but apparently they're really great. And we'll find out. This is also coming up on Newswatch at 530. Newswatch at 530 continues the Guitar Boutique in Bethany. This, is, this takes me back to my radio days. I'm talking over the post. This is Charlotte Melby who's playing on a, it's a Tanglewood? Like yes, Easter? Tanglewood. It's the quality of the make and the playability and uh, everyone seems to gravitate to them. I, I can demonstrate three or four other brands, but they seem to always end up on the Tanglewoods. Interesting. And I sell maybe eight Tanglewoods to every one of the other guitars that I have in, in the store. Where do uh, Rickenbackers come from? United States. Okay. Yeah. Can you show us California. one of California. This one is very rare. This uh, is the only one in captivity right now. 
Oh, it's, okay. <laughs> it's the, the same model that John Lennon played in uh, 1964. Okay. And it's got his name on this one. Right. Um, it's just an amazing guitar. I, I don't know what that means. It's, it's so light and it's got a short oh, neck. It's okay. easy to play. Let me check that out. Okay, you check that out. Oh my gosh. Isn't it light? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, very light. Very Unfortunately, nice. they, don't, they don't make them anymore. But, and they that's don't make what this makes, particular one anymore? Not at this time, no. This also is a 650 12 string Rickenbacker. And it is the last one in North America available. So, um, so too is the six, the six string version of that. This one? Yeah. So how do you find out about these? Hey, it's my job to find <laughs> out about these things, right? Over here we have um, TV Jones guitars. He's the maker of the Gretsch guitar pickups. And now he's got his own line of guitars. Would these be like a higher end collection of guitars or? Well, the ones on this wall here definitely higher end. Higher end, okay. Here we're, we're getting into a more moderate price range. Yeah. These guitars on this side is um, from England. They're called um, indie guitars, beautiful guitars. I just love this, this line of guitars. Along with, on this side we have... Um, <laughs> If I wanted to take this one back to Michelle Ferrari, because yes. honest to goodness, this is manufactured I could see her by wearing this as a necklace, let alone, this is gorgeous. Trevor Wilkinson from England designed all these guitars, the Italias, the uh, Vintage and the Fret King guitars, and he's a very renowned uh, builder of guitars. When I was a kid, there was a guy named Dwayne Eddy who played um, Dane Electro guitars, and I learned how to play. Uh, uh, by copying his his work on um, records in those days, yeah. Okay, okay. And this was the guitar that he played, a baritone. Dan Electro. Yeah, it's a baritone. Right. We're going to throw things over to Roger Hill. He's going to make some sweet music with his uh, Amaryllis Blues. Check it with him now. guitar boutique we're just kind of getting educated about some specialties you can tell I'm not an electric guitar player because I don't even look like below knee level to see the amplifiers that players are using what is it about amplifiers that makes one so much more interesting than another Bruce? well a lot of these come from very small shops they're not uh, like uh, large cars if they were made on a production line some of them are made on a production line but a lot of these are hand wired handmade amplifiers kind of thing. so and we cover a, a lot of stuff, everything from the uh, 333, uh, Blackheart, Eggnator, Wagner, Blackstar, 65 amps. We carry Line 6 as well. Uh, we'll be showing off a, uh, a Phil Jones bass amp, which is one of my favorites right now. Phil the Jones. wonderful thing about Phil Jones is what you're looking at is you're looking at two 5-inch speakers in a little 100 watt cabinet and it's this one is known as the briefcase so that's basically what it is it also work on dc power this is actually a, one of andrew's and my own uh, favorite amps right now okay. just because of its tonalities andrew and black taking it out for this edition of the news watch at 5 30. thanks so much for joining us in bethany ladies and gentlemen we'll be here all week and next week and the week after this could be good we could work this i like it uh, thank you very much for joining Newswatch at 5.30. Check it out, guitars and amplifiers and other fun things at the Guitar Boutique. On the next Newswatch at 5.30, uh, not as fun of a topic, but just as important, we're going to check out food allergies and some alternative options for dealing with it for parents. Coming up next is Newswatch at 6.00.